At the University of Guam Calvo Fieldhouse on Friday, family, friends, prominent leaders, and educators gathered to congratulate a little over 290 students who walked in their cap and gowns across the big stage to pick up their hard-earned degrees. This was the Guam Community College's first traditional face-to-face -face graduation ceremony since 2019. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, commencement ceremonies were held via drive through Since the peak of COVID on the island, students and educators were forced to switch in-person instruction to virtual classes. It's awesome. I finally graduated. So. But despite many challenges posed on students by the ongoing global COVID-19 pandemic, 296 students managed to graduate on time or within their scheduled goal. Tiffany Uggin now has her associate's degree in accounting. The journey was long, of course, because of COVID, it kind of delayed things, but I'm glad we finally got to be here today to do it. While noting COVID slowed things down and taking classes online was difficult, Uggin shared that she hopes to get her bachelor's at UOG. GCC 2022's distinguished graduate Tamika Marie Antalon Balesta shared the same challenges of Uggin, but with the support, she was happy to get her associates in science, human services, and certificate in family right. services. So when the pandemic hit, it was really, really challenging. You know, we had to shift to virtual. You know, teachers were trying to figure out like how how they were going to teach us. But honestly, with the help and guidance of my professor Arwen Franquez, she was really, really helpful. So I didn't really have that much many challenges. The journey has been super, super great. It's it's been wonderful, honestly, with professors, friends, family, by like supporting me. It's been really, really great. Liz Beneventi, who earned her Associates of Arts and Education, shared her excitement as she moves on to the next chapter of her life. The pandemic, because it was hard tra um, transitioning from face-to-face -to, -face to online and then going back to face-to-face, -to -face, so that's really been difficult. Being an example for her child, Sherilyn Kosam got her associates in criminal justice for her family and now, most importantly, for her son. At first, I just wanted to do something um, more uh, fulfilling for my family, but I guess now it's mostly my baby. It's everything I do is for him. What were some of the challenges? Um, well, I, I had a baby, so it was, it was tough um, having to you know, meet deadlines and everything and try to accommodate to work and my baby. So it's a big relief right now. GCC President Dr. Mary Okada told the class of 2022 to tackle the bumps in the road that lie ahead. Face life's challenges the same way we face this pandemic together. Reporting for KUAM News, Guahusi Isaiah Ogan.